like Rich said at the beginning of this, you've start you have you've started four CrossFits, you've sold three of them, and I've heard some pretty good numbers on those. I've even heard Greg Glassman talking about it on Savon's podcast. Oh, did, and, it, yeah, I, I think I'd seen that. That's cool. Yeah. yeah. And I, I feel like, do you feel like that can still happen? Obviously you got best hour of their day. You teach people how to run affiliates and, and make money from it. Do you feel like someone can today start a CrossFit and in a couple of years be able to sell it and make some money from it? And not, not to make it too long of a question, <laughs> What do you sell when you sell CrossFit? Because sometimes Rich and I always hear when people are selling their CrossFit and they're asking for certain prices, like, what do you sell in some equipment? Like, what do you have? What do you create that someone wants to buy? Well, that's the your first question is, can it happen? Yes and no. Most new affiliate owners are just trying to like put food on their table. So they're not thinking like, how do I sell this thing in three to five years? But I mean, we've had clients sell their affiliates in multiple hundreds of thousands. So it's a hundred percent doable. Uh, the issue is most people to your point of like, well, what am I buying? They're not setting that up. So when we talk about things like membership agreements and contracts, et cetera, like it's not because we want you to be a dictator as an owner. It's because we want you to be able to sell this down the road. Otherwise you're essentially selling the equipment now. And to your point, it, it The challenge is it's not a super high barrier to entry. So I moved to Florida and this one gym was like, hey, we want you to be a part owner or whatever, like buy in at this. It was like a ludicrous amount of money. And I was like, here's what you don't understand. For a fraction of that, I will open next door to you and completely put you out of business. Like, I don't want to do that but you're so inept and delusional in the value of your thing here. You don't understand CrossFit because it's very different than many other business models. Like I knew CrossFit doesn't have any non-competes. I can literally open next door to you, assuming the landlord would rent to another gym. Like I don't like I can come in. It's capitalism. I can do classes when I want charge when I want, et cetera. And by the way, I know I'm way better at you at the actual thing of coaching that everyone's going to eventually join my gym, right? So it's like, if you're going to sell your gym, it has to be so well-functioning and turnkey that it doesn't make sense for someone to just open a new one. Because if that's what you two are looking at, like, oh, maybe we'll buy one in Carolina or we'll you know, go to Florida or go back to Denver, it would have to make sense other. Wise, I'll just well, I'll just find a space and start from scratch, which often also involves less headaches, fixing all the problems of the previous owner. Do you think you need the CrossFit name? Can you do it as the Airy Bros Functional Fitness? I think you could certainly do it without the CrossFit name. I think two things. One, I know CrossFit's kind of like, how are you uh you know saying this is CrossFit? Like it's functional movements and we're mixing them up. I, th I do think there's something to be said about you either know you're doing CrossFit or you don't like there are functional fitness gyms that I don't think are actually doing CrossFit, right? They'll they're either uh, periodizing or they're running on a linear, like it's a little different. It's not constantly very functional movements at high intensity. So my question is always like, if you're doing CrossFit, you should pay for it. And even at the new price point of $4,500, it's a steal. And where people get it wrong is like, what's CrossFit doing for me? Nothing. You're paying a licensing fee. Like that's all you're doing. You signed a contract that said, we get to use the name CrossFit in this. And in return, we pay you $4,500. There's a few other things they give you like some toolkits and other things, but they're not putting commercials out unless they want like all these things they can do, but they're like, what are they doing for me? It's like, they're doing exactly what they said they would do letting you license the name CrossFit. That said, for $4,500, my belief is it will get you a minimum of three members a year. Just using that name, assuming you charge $150 or more, that more than covers the cost of it. Not to mention that's compounding, right? Those three members stay next year, but you gain three, it more than pays for itself.